with one of the most unhinged storylines I've ever seen, Saltburn is an absolute triumph. Paired with truly gorgeous cinematography, beautiful art direction, and masterful performances from Barry Keoghan, Jacob Elordi, and Rosamund Pike, and a stellar supporting cast, this steamy plot stuns throughout its one time. It's poised to stand tall as one of the year's very best. A dark and twisted exploration of class conflict and jealousy, what Emerald Fennel has managed to create here is nothing short of masterful. Saltburn is everything you've heard it is. It's salacious and depraved. It's callous and unflinching in depicting characters as remarkably vapid. Characters who seem so painfully bored with the extravagance of their lives that they simply must torture each other for sport to feel anything at all. While they are not relatable or even like, well, that's exactly the point. It's interesting to me that some people have accused this film of embodying the same gilded emptiness of its subjects. I found it to be quite the opposite with, with incredibly lush and sweeping cinematography rivaled only by the almost otherworldly beauty of the characters themselves. Saltburn tells the story of Oliver, played by Barry Keoghan, a student from Liverpool who begins a new chapter of their life at Oxford University. Being from the North, it's easy to see why Oliver is such an outcast. For as prestigious as Oxford claims to be, it's ultimately a place that excludes snobbery and entitlement from those in the upper class. Many Oxford students are there because of their family or their class status. Clearly two things that Oliver does not possess. Instead, Oliver comes to us as a soul with a dark past and working class struggles. Their family is out of the picture, and as their isolation thickens, Oliver befriends Felix, played by Jacob Lordy, who immediately takes him under his wing. As they get closer, Felix invites Oliver to stay at his home over the summer. Emerald Fennel has a real aesthetic eye and a vision for color and style that itches a very specific part of my brain. Her writing is what I feel mixed on, as it lacks depth and any basic understanding of motivation in Saltburn, the alluring countryside estate takes the reins. The name of the home is the title of the movie and serves as the driving force of the film to the detriment of the story as a whole. So much talent is on display here for the incredible performances from all the cast to the ex excellent script and stunning visuals. Emerald Fennel has a clear direction for this and that vision really worked for me. I'm really excited to see what she does next. Barry Keoghan is brilliant and I'm sure will be in conversation come award season. Jacob Lordy is a star. Rosamund Pike is excellent like I said and Archie Mattaquay is having a moment really showing his range and Richard E. Grant is consistently great in anything he does. Everyone here is at their best. With cinematography by Linus Sangren, this is probably the best shot film of the year as the viewer is treated to frame after frame of vivid saturation and striking imagery. The score by Anthony Willis paints a vast and meticulous landscape that invites you in unpredictable plot lines of the film. And the nostalgic soundtrack featuring the likes of The Killers and MGMT adds to the chaotic fun. Those who found themselves rivaled by Fennel's previous antics will likely not be converted here. There's a cheekiness to your work that strikes some as abrasive and that's a fair interpretation. However, there's also a palpable vision and style that cannot be denied. Yes, the film stoops to the depths of depravity and kinkiness that even the most liberal-minded audiences may quiver at. It is a sexy experiment and anyone who witnesses it shall be tested. Fennel cements herself as cinema's posh provocateur and that crown she has truly earned. Someday, a more disciplined film may run with this aesthetic and master it, but they had better cite Saltburn as the original influence. Quiet, harmless, drawn to shiny things. <laughs> what have you done? I just thought that maybe I could help. You're not leaving us. You're not leaving Saltburn. I don't think I'll ever go home again. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.